welcome once again to another edition of the Red Brown and Williams Real Estate Show. I'm Shannon Deskins along with Jennifer Brown Day. And Jennifer, I think with fingers crossed, we may be finished with winter. It seems like it. It seems like we're going into spring. The weather's getting warmer and it's staying warmer. So I think we're all pretty optimistic it's here. You know, we'll have those blackberry winters and redbud winters and, and <laughs> I'm not sure what other ones we have. A few cold spells, but for the most part, people are starting to plan uh, their mm -hmm. landscaping, uh, planting things. So that's a great time if you've got a home for sale to work on your curb appeal. Absolutely. And I'm actually going to talk in the Real Estate Minute today about the neighborhood curb appeal. And even though you're not the house for sale, helping all those houses for sale by cleaning up your yard and stuff as well. So it is the mm. perfect time to get started. All right. Well, then let's tell about some houses that are for sale. Sounds good. The first one we'll start out that's in Johnson County. And this one's Kathy mm -hmm. Brown listing. It is. It's one of Kathy's listings. Like you said, it's in Johnson County. It's in the Tudor Key area. Those familiar with Tudor Key, it is in Homestead estates. And that is not far out of the city limits of Paintsville. So not at all. It's easily accessible um, to downtown Paintsville because you can actually access Tudor Key two ways. Mm -hmm. One off of US 23 on the north end of Paintsville and then through downtown Paintsville. So very quiet, a country-like setting, but yet just minutes from shopping and eating and everything that Paintsville has to offer. Yes, exactly, which makes it very convenient to schools and that kind of stuff as well. Um, but it's not a small house, you can see in the pictures. Um, it's about a 2,000 square foot house, it's a three bedroom, two bath, and then the great thing with this one, the extra space is mm -hmm. outside. You get two lots with this, almost a half acre, which for a subdivision lot is a really nice size piece of property. Yeah, because a lot of times you will see in a subdivision a house is built on a, about of a quarter acre lot. Mm -hmm. Well, these people had the, the forethought to buy two lots and build in the middle. So you've got room for an in-ground pool, a play area, um, gardening, anything that you want to do. Now's the time to start thinking about those summertime plans. Exactly. And this one, it does have a fenced yard already, perfect for kids or a pet or um, just for the extra privacy. But like you said, you have plenty of room if you wanted to add a pool, if you wanted to do a big... A playground, if you wanted to do anything like that, you have the room for it. And it looks like you're talking about room. The inside has a lot of room also. Mm -hmm. You've got, we've got pictures of this large living room. I love the layout of that kitchen where everything, you've got room to move around between when you're taking things out of the oven and going to the fridge and going to the sink, you've got a lot of room. Exactly. It does, it, it appears, especially in the pictures, to have a lot of space. Um, and then one thing about the house, not counted in the square footage, mm -hmm. is you have a permanent staircase that's up to floored attic space that has not been made into finished living area, but easily could be. So it's either really, really accessible storage, or you could always cut, you know, make another bedroom, you could make a playroom, mm -hmm. whatever you'd want to do. And this one too, on the price, uh, 195000 but that's a mm -hmm. reduction. It's been reduced recently. Yeah, it was just recently reduced, and like you said, this one's out of our Paintsville office. This is Mm -hmm. Kathy Brown's listing so they can give her a call for more information on this house. All right, let's give that Paintsville office number. Okay, that number is 606-789-8119. All right, and the MLS number on this one, 106476. So when you give Kathy a call, mention that number and she'll be able to pull that listing right up. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Well, the next listing that we're going to touch on today is also Kathy Brown's listing. Mm -hmm. So this will be another one out of the Paintsville office. Yes, this one's also in Johnson County, and this one is actually in the West Van Leer area. Now, this one is, if you're coming into the Paintsville area, mm -hmm. um, we all know that Route 1428 has been closed for a while, but you can still access West Van Leer by taking that exit or that turnoff. Yeah, you go to on 1428 and then you're going to take, right before the roads actually close, you're going to take a right off towards West Van Leer. And that kind of takes you down a hill a little bit, mm -hmm. but then you come right into this big residential area, which is West Van Leer. Yeah, it is. And it's a popular neighborhood. I know a lot of people like this area because it's laid back. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of nestled in between the hills. And this house is no exception. This one actually sits on a creek. Um, side lot. Mm -hmm. So your backyard overlooks the creek. You've got a fenced yard to enjoy that on. You've got a, a big back deck that overlooks all of it. So you really can kind of separate yourself from the downtown and, and have a little bit of privacy here. 
And I love the pictures on this one, especially, you know, I'm an outdoorsy person, so mm -hmm. I'm loving this covered deck. Yes, yes, isn't it nice? And of course, you can tell to the right side of that picture that that's where the creek is. It's got a ceiling fan out there, so it's kind of an extra room onto your house. This is one that, you know, you would actually use as part of your living space. You know, you're looking out of the backyard, you're not seeing the front street in front of the house, mm -hmm. you're sitting out on that back deck, so it's great for coffee or evening get-togethers or anything, and I see the ceiling fan, so when it gets hot in the summertime, turn the ceiling fan on, and like you said, you've got an additional room in your house. Exactly, exactly, and then underneath the deck is actually a carport. Mm -hmm. They use it for uh, covered parking, which is great. Uh, you know, makes it easier in one of those winters like we're just coming out of, Yes. that uh, you have your parking covered, and then inside the house, it's actually a very nice, spacious layout to this house. It's about 1,300 square feet, a little bit over, two bedrooms, two full baths, and then you also have some below grade square footage, a little under 300 square feet below grade, mm -hmm. that's unfinished but could easily be used for additional storage or extra space as well. Right. And then you're talking about, you know, the kitchen and inside. They've done a mm -hmm. lot of work. I mean, I see new countertops, a new refrigerator and stove. This is one that um, I'm excited for you to tell them the price as well, because I think it's priced well, so it's one that I think will spark some interest. Well, there's going to be a lot of interest because, number one, this is a brand new listing, mm -hmm. uh, so I don't expect something under $90,000 to last long. Yes, that's right. eighty nine nine <laughs> is the price on this house in West Van Leer. Um, and we mentioned at the beginning of this listing, it's Kathy Brown's mm -hmm. listing, so uh, let's go over her email address. Okay, her email is cbrown at rbnw.com. And when you do email Kathy or call her at the Paintsville office, mm -hmm. mention 106553. And the next one we've actually talked about before, but I'm really excited because it's uh, one that they've reduced the price on. Mm -hmm. They're uh, motivated to sell it. That is the one at Deadening Fork in Pikeville. Now this is just off of Little Creek, so mm -hmm. it's going to be on the south side of the Pikeville city limits by just a few minutes. Mm -hmm. Just a few minutes, very, very accessible. Uh, once you turn off 23, Little Creek is literally, you know, right there. You're mm -hmm. not far at all. And then this is, uh, if you go down Little Creek, you're going to go about a mile and a half and Deadening Fork comes up on your left. And I love this listing because, number one, the price is great, mm -hmm. um, but everything that you're getting, too, I mean, this house is cute, and I remember you talking about such a great use of space on mm -hmm. this house. Absolutely. This is one, it's a three-bedroom, two-bath, a Cape Cod-style house. The first floor bedroom, first floor does have a bedroom mm -hmm. um, that can be a nice size master, and then the second floor is literally two bedrooms and a full bath. The bedrooms and the bathrooms are some of the biggest bedrooms and bathrooms you will see, especially in a Cape Cod style house. Easily king size bed, bedrooms. You have bathrooms that you could, you know, renovate, add mm -hmm. double vanities, that kind of stuff in. And, you know, when you were talking about king size bed and furniture, I mm -hmm. know that's a big deal when people are moving from one house to another. They they get accustomed to their bedroom suit or their living room suit. So it's and I'm sure a lot of people come into showings with measuring tapes. Uh, measuring tapes, or at least they have a general idea of what they want to fit in a room. So anytime you can walk in a room and you don't even have to measure or think about it, you just know it's going to fit. It's a good good sign. And this one. If you're looking at the picture of the front of the house, mm -hmm. you know, you're like, wow, it's got a big yard. It's got a lot more than a big yard. This house is, is sitting on 30 acres, which is all included in this price. Correct, correct. And you probably have an acre to acre and a half flat and usable that you can see in the picture. Mm -hmm. And then the rest of it is the hillside acreage, but what that gives you is the privacy. And then there are a couple flats that you could do something with later on if you really wanted to. Well, this was one definitely worth seeing, and, mm -hmm. and the price is now a little lower than the last time we talked about this house. It is. One twenty four nine dollars uh, for this Cape Cod house just off of Little Creek Road in Pike County. So uh, give Jennifer a call. The Pikeville office? Mm -hmm. Pikeville office number is 606-437-2333. All right, and 105689 is the number for this house. Mm -hmm. Now for the next listing, uh, let's get back on 23 and go north mm -hmm. just to the other side of the Pikeville city limits for Tolly Lane. Yes, and this one, like you said, is on that end of Pikeville in the Coal Run area. So it sits right off 23. Um, you do you can't actually see 23 from it, but you are about 500 feet off of 23. So it's a very close proximity. Um, and this is one that you have to see it 
to honestly believe it. You can look at the pictures and you get a good idea, mm -hmm. but this is one that I really, really, if you're in this price range and looking, this is one that you need to see. Four bedrooms, three full baths, and another half, or two half baths, mm -hmm. you don't have to worry about space for your family. No, you really don't. And like you said, it's four bedrooms. Again, very nice size bedrooms. This is one that you're not going to have much trouble fitting your furniture in mm -hmm. or anything like that. This is a log um, home, so it has a lot of wood features, wood doors, wood trim, um, a kind of a unique style to it. Anybody that's in the in this looking, or they're looking for a log home. They're going to love these beams and the features that this one has. Um, but like you said, the pictures don't do it justice, mm -hmm. and the pictures are absolutely beautiful. Look at that yard space. Yes, and it sits on about three and a half acres, most of which is going to be usable. So you don't have very many properties at all in Pike County no. that are going to offer you that much space. And it's a very picturesque setting. You can sit on the back deck. You um, have complete privacy back there. And it's just something that you really need to see to believe. And this is one of those areas. We all travel 23. And mm -hmm. we all look up in this exact area. <laughs> and I, I know right where it is. And to look at these pictures, you have no idea that much space is there. Yeah, you don't. You don't. This is kind of a hidden gem in Pike County. All right. Now, the price on this one is five forty nine nine. So, if this is something you're, if this is your price range and you're looking, definitely give Jennifer a call or send her an email to get your showing scheduled. And your email is the email is jbrown at rbnw dot com. All right, one zero five nine nine four. And just tell them that's the house you want to look at, the one on Tully Lane, just outside of Pikeville. Now, the last listing that we're going to show today is actually your listing, and it's in the city limits of Pikeville. Yes, and this is one that we have talked about before, but one that we get excited about because every time we talk about it, we've got new and improved pictures because it's a new construction. Yeah, and that's something we don't get to do very often. Yeah. <laughs> if, we, if we get the opportunity to show a house on two different shows, we have the same pictures, and I recognize <laughs> it, but this one has changed. We've gone from... Uh, artist rendering yeah. <laughs> now to a completed house photo. Absolutely, and you can. We've got interior pictures now, so you can see how beautiful the finishes are um, inside the house, and you can really see the quality with which this was built. So hopefully, this has a, a buyer's name all over it when they see these pictures. Now, this is the Keyser Heights subdivision mm -hmm. in Pikeville, and a lot of people are not understanding. There's a new section being built at Keyser Heights now. I mean, it's a neighborhood that's been there for quite some time. Um, but they are now developing more areas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when you go up there and get to the top of the hill, mm -hmm. you take that left and um, near the top up there you're going to see a couple new houses. This is the newest one and uh, obviously it's for sale and ready for a new owner. And then not very often do you get to show a new home that no one else has lived in. I mean, exactly. this, this one's one that you can skip all the stress of the construction phase and step right into it and be the first owners ever of this home. Yes, you can be the first owner and it's got a lot of space. It has a lot of things to offer. It's over 1,600 square feet. It's a three bedroom, two bath. Mm -hmm. um, it is one that has an open floor plan. So your kitchen is open to your dining area, which is open to your living room, which looks out on the back deck. So it's a really nice open layout. Um, it has a walk through laundry room from the garage that's oversized wow. that also doubles as a pantry that really is a huge amenity people are really liking it. It sounds to me like the contractor made very good use of space mm -hmm. on this one when he built this home. Absolutely. There's there's a lot of closets, there's a lot of use of the space like you said. Mm -hmm. They tried not to waste anything and really do 1600 square feet of usable space for someone. Well, if someone is in the price range of about two hundred thousand dollars, because mm -hmm. that this one's one ninety nine nine, mm -hmm. this one's a great one to look at. Like Absolutely. you said, brand new construction, uh, just finished. So if you're you've got cabin fever from the winter and you're <laughs> wanting to get out and you're wanting a new home, I would definitely suggest getting up with Jennifer on this one. Absolutely, please. All do. right, the Pikeville office number is six zero six four three seven two three three three. All right, and now, Jennifer, with, with the season starting to change, I'm starting to see some buds coming out, mm -hmm. and I know you want to talk about curb appeal, so it's time for your Real Estate Minute. Sounds good. This week for the Real Estate Minute, let's talk about neighborhoods. Spring is finally here, and that means more homes are coming onto an already active market. Even if you're not the home for sale in your neighborhood, it's important to remember how you impact the sale of other homes in your area. 
it's common knowledge that buyers will look at the neighborhood as well as the home they are potentially purchasing. As a neighbor, you can help keep area values steady by maintaining curb appeal suitable for the area, by cleaning up after your pets, and making sure your home looks as inviting as the home for sale. Spring cleaning is not just for the listed properties, but everyone can benefit from a good cleanup. Thank you for joining us for another episode of the Red Bryant Williams Real Estate Show. We hope you will join us again soon.